I got cold chills. Swag filled hot suits and Ooh! What's up internet? Welcome to another episode of K-pop reaction. Okay, so um uh I found a uh the uh, live performance of GOT 7's If You Do, which I actually haven't watched very many of GOT 7's uh, live performances. Um, I actually mostly uh, watch their variety show stuff and then, you know, real GOT 7 and things like that, but I don't actually watch a whole lot of, like, live concert performances. I've seen a few from XO, a few from GOT 7, and a few from Big Bang. Uh, but other than that, um, I don't really watch, like, live concerts. I guess, well, like, I'm just, like, I'm excited to s actually see a concert in real life, and I kind of want to keep it as, like, a big surprise for myself. Um, but, uh, this video just happened to pop up, and I really wanted to watch it. So, um, I decided to, uh, I decided I'm gonna watch this one, um, I may watch it all the way through, I'm not sure. But uh, this is Got Seven's If You Do at SBS Inkigayo. So this is a live performance. Let's see what we got. <gasps> From the thumbnail alone, I'm excited. Whoa! Ah! That was so cool! Ah, oh, you gum.
Hold on. One video at a time. Woo! See, this is why. This, that, that, that right there is why I don't watch that many concert videos. Because I want that kind of reaction when I'm actually there. <gasps> Woo! Oh, I got cold chills. Oh, I don't know what it is. You put guys in suits. In, in very, very swag-filled hot suits and whoo! Oh. oh, goodness. I got cold chills. Whoo, goosebumps. Oh. I was wondering why JB was sitting in a chair and then I remembered some somebody mentioned that uh, he had hurt his ankle or his foot. So, I feel so bad that he, that he hurt himself, but I am glad that, you know, he's still able to go out there and sing. And I let him, you know, he gets to sit down, so at least he can rest his leg. He doesn't have to walk a whole lot on it or dance on it. Oh, I was confused, though, for a second. I was like, why is JB sitting down? But no, that makes perfect sense. Yu Gi Oh's little poop out of the floor. Ah! Ah! That was awesome. Oh, goodness. The part where the only thing was, is while this was going on, I was also imagining the the really funny dance practice video that I that I had watched earlier, and. I just kept picturing everything they were doing in that. So, on one hand, I was smiling because of that, and then I was geeking out from what I was actually watching. Oh, I love Jackson's hair like that. I love everyone looked awesome. Oh, like I said, I like... Shaggy hair is fine, too, like when your hair is like down like that. But I like when hair is kind of styled like that. Oh, it just reminds me of like an old, um, like a gentleman hairstyle. I love it. Oh, Ooh, I want to watch it again. I need to control. <laughs> I need to control myself. <laughs> oh, this is so awesome! Look at him. Looking so spiffy. I'd be so afraid Mark would drop me. I love the white suits. Bam Bam's got blue, looks like he's got blue contacts in, or, yeah. Me. 
Can they all look back at the camera? It makes my heart flutter. I like this part of the music video too. Stream it looks Calm down, self. Goosebumps. the the fire and explosion and lights and oh hoo, hoo. the parts that like get me are like when they look right at the camera and you're just like all I can do <laughs> all, all I can do it is stare at their eyes because I'm just like oh you have such pretty eyes <laughs> and then I'm just like huh oh. JB and Jackson actually they all looked at the camera at one point and you're just like whoo so there are parts in the music video, in the uh, in the in the actual music video, of if you do that, give me chills like that too. And I love like this the the part in the music video where they're all like dressed in black and it's more shaded. It's not like with the graffiti. It's it's when they're all dressed in black and like the part when Junior's walking forward, and every day, every night. Oh God, whoo! See, I cannot wait until I can actually go and see them uh, in a live performance. Because I am planning on seeing them live at one point. I'm really hoping by next year uh, I, can go, I can go fly to uh, California. Hopefully I'm living in California by that point. Um, but I'm really hoping that by the time I'm living in California and... Uh, you know, got a job there that I can go, that I can go and see them in a live performance. Oh, that'd be so awesome. I'd be so nervous and, oh, I don't know why I'd be nervous, but <laughs> I'd be so excited. I'd be nervous if I got to meet them face to face. Oh, yeah. Whew. I'd really have to learn to control my giggles and squeals. <laughs> I get so excited, though. And, you know, I think the reason I get so excited isn't, like, um, I don't put them on pedestals, is the thing. It's, like, people tend to, like, to put their idols, like, up here, or people they really like to watch or listen to, like, way up here. And and you, you start to think of them as, like, more than human. Like, they are these great, great beings that, like, are way above you and are better than you. I, I don't think of them like that. It's just, I think of them as just, you know, really talented, normal guys that I really like to watch. Uh, I love the dance moves. I like, I, I love their songs. I love their voices. I love their dorky, hilarious personalities. I love how they're all different. And it's like, you know, I squeal and giggle like this with guys I like in normal life. Which is probably why I'm still single, but <laughs> but that's the thing. Like I'm like this normally, so it, uh, seeing them, everything. It's not that I put them on a pedestal. That's just how I react when I see something I like. And it's weird because like I'm older than them, not by much. The only huge age gap between me and anyone from GOT7 is Yugyum. It's kind of weird because I do think Yugium is very, very attractive. He has, he can wonderfully dance and 
he's such a sweetheart and he's funny and uh when I, I got to when I got to talk to um when I got to talk to Got7 on After School Club, um, uh, Mark pointed out that I gave Yu Yum a uh, a thumbs up for his for his version of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on uh, After School Club, and I did because I thought he did very good. And Mark pointed that out, and um, uh, Yu Yum said thank you, and he gave me a cute little smile, and it was so sweet. So I think he's a real sweetie. But I think that's all the time I have for this episode of K-pop reactions. So until next time guys, tune in while I react to another K-pop music video and or dance practice video or variety show. <laughs> and I'll see you then. Okay. Bye! Oh, I love it.